I am Vijay Raj from Farmland Rainwater Harvesting System. Farmland Rainwater Harvesting System is a pioneer company in India which has been since last 20 years have been installed rooftop rainwater harvesting system as well as groundwater recharging systems. As you are aware that the groundwater table is falling down drastically year by year. If you take Bangalore, we have already gone down as deep as 1600 to 1800 feet. Out of the every 10 borewells drilled here for water, we get water hardly in 4 borewells. Out of these 4 borewells also, 2 borewells fail within 1 year. The strike rate of the borewell is as low as just 20%. This is because of the drastic fall in the water table. You know, as you are aware that you know, people generally say that if you have to recharge your borewell, just make a recharging pit as deep as about 20 feet you know, so that you can recharge the borewell. But in our past experience of 20 years, we have found that recharging pit doesn't help much in recharging of the borewell. This is because of the kind of the strata which is present in the Bangalore's uh, contest. Here we have got clay mixed soil at the top and as we go little deeper, then we have got sheet rock. So what happens is when you are making a recharging pit and leaving the water, you know, it can recharge the shallow aquifer. If you have got an open well, these recharging pits can be very helpful. But what happens to the recharging of the deeper aquifer, this doesn't help much. For recharging of the deeper aquifers, we have got an innovative technology called as Formland V-Wire Injection Well Technology. In this injection well technology, what we do is we identify the first permeable zone. We conduct a vertical electric sounding, a geophysical survey. Uh, in that, we identify the first permeable zone, which in Bangalore generally it is found at the depth of about 130 feet to 180 feet. So there is a huge permeable zone available there. So what we do is once we you know, get the results of the vertical electric sounding and once we identify the first permeable zone, what we do is we drill about 8.5 inches borewell to the, the first permeable zone. In this 8.5 inches borewells, once it is drilled, we fill about 10 mm, 10 mm crust stone to the depth of, you know, to the height of 5 meters, you know, from the bottom. Once it is done, what we do is we insert 140 mm in the 8.5 inches borewell. We inches about 5 inches zigzag perforated uh, percolator pipe, you know, with uh, two ends. On the both the ends, we have got a special component called V-wire screen. These are the filters which are attached to the both the ends of this percolator pipe. This is inserted in this 8 and half inches. So the gap in between the 8 and half inches and the pipe, 8 and half inches bore and the percolator pipe of 5 inches, this is again filled with the 10 mm percolator, 10 mm crust stone. Once the 10 mm crust stone is filled to the top, what we do is we drill, you know, we make a well kind of a thing surrounding this bore well. You can see here, we make 1350 mm, about 4 and half inches. Uh, four and a half feet uh, dia wells surrounding this uh, uh, pipe, percolator pipe. And once this is done, uh, we insert reinforced concrete rings, one above the other, up to the depth of about 13 feet. Once this is done, we, after the 13 feet, we put one perforated uh, slab. On that perforated slab, another four to five rings are uh, installed. So the total depth of the uh, well surrounding the percolator pipe is about 20 feet out of that you know about on the 13 feet depth we put a perforated uh, slab on the perforated slab again we put another five to six rings once this is done uh, we what we do is we you know install filtration media on the perforated slab that includes about 40 mm crust stone 20 mm crust stone then we use uh, uh, wood burn charcoal an activated carbon, silica sand and fine sand. So this act as a fortified filtration media. And once this is completed, what we do is we, on the way from where the water is coming, we make one silt trap. So this silt trap is another 10 feet deep and again we insert the reinforced concrete rings. In this uh, silt trap, what we do is horizontal one horizontal V-wire screen we install so that it can stop all the floating materials. Once this horizontal V-wire screen is installed, this is connected to the main injection well here. So the water from the you know, source, whichever source, storm drain or you know, any flowing water is allowed to come into the silt trap. 
because of the siphoning effect the, all the heavier particles settles down and the floating particles also you know is uh, separated because of the horizontal v wire screen and the clean water is let into the main injection well in this main injection well what happens is the water filters through the filtration media which is there in the top and it goes into the you know second chamber here the water is accumulated so that what happens is because it the whole second chamber is hollow it will create a well defined water column and the it can help in the storing of the large quantity of water so once this water uh, is stored there it automatically goes through the v wire screen which is the entry point of the v wire screen there it goes into the deeper aquifer and reaches to the first permeable zone here what happens is because, you know thereafter it gets uh, filtered through the earth earth crust and then it goes to the aquifer here we are only leaving the water to the first permeable zone and not to the aquifer so what happens is because earth is the best filter you know known to us it will get filtered so any of the in case let even if there is any of the contaminants are there that will get filtered through the earth crust because we are living at 130 140 feet in the first permeable zone and our water table is as deep as more than 1500 1600 feet so it will percolate because you know we have left it to the first permeable zone the percolation rates are very faster and we generally construct this kind of injection well at least you know about 15 to 20 feet away from the bore wells you know according to the geological uh, survey report so once uh, this is done we have seen that these bore wells have been very very uh, useful in recharging the bore wells we have till now installed about more than 14700 these kind of structures and we have found that even the dried bore wells which were earlier yielding water and dried up have been rejuvenated we have seen that the not only the quantity of the water is increasing but even the quality of the water also you know improves because of the dilution effect because rain water being the purest form of the water and when we are living because of the dilution effect all this you know hardness of the water and the fluoride salinity all we have seen that it comes down these kind of injection wells helps us in the farming sector also when there because for every just 25 mm of rainfall we get about 1 lakh liters of water and as the climatic conditions have changed these days though we get the desired amount of the rainfall from past 40 years the amount of the rainfall has not come down but what happens is the intensity of the rainfall has increased because of the uh, change in the intensity of the rainfall uh, heavy intensity rainfall comes and because of that the water percolation has come down drastically lot of water flows away now because of that also one of the reason where the bore wells are drying and the ground water table is going down so this v wire injection well helps us in you know solving that problem because large amount of the water can be percolated into the ground water to the first permeable zone and then thereafter it gets filters and then goes to the earth crust so these kind of injection wells are presently recently we tried this this monsoon this kind of injection well were installed in the underpasses also because uh, we see that every small rainfall these underpasses used to get flooded and these underpasses uh, become a havoc for the people to travel so what we did was we installed the injection well system there what we uh, did was we installed even a oil and grease trap before the water going to the sedimentation tank there was a oil and grease traps which were installed from the oil and grease trap this water went to the first sedimentation tank for this went to the first sedimentation tank from the first sedimentation tank it again was uh, you know allowed to go to the second sedimentation tank and then it was allowed to go to the main injection well so there in the main injection well also we you know increase the filtration media activated carbon and charcoal were increase increase and silica sand was increased so that the water from this uh, water whatever used to get stagnated in the underpasses is now you know uh, being allowed to go to the first permeable zone after you know proper filtration so we saw this year and this monsoon you know we did a pilot project and none of this uh, underpasses where we did uh, uh, this kind of injection well to recharge the ground water uh, had any water logging so this is being used in a two way so this helps us in two way one is to you know avoid the water logging and second is it is also uh, it is also you know recharging the ground water so in this way uh, it is one of the important uh, systems which is helping in ground water recharging uh thank you all thank you so much